Evening, everyone. Welcome again to Wisdom Wednesday Live. Right? We can change the world. All it takes is just you and me, the one in the mirror. And today, that's our topic, the one in the mirror. And uh, I know it's going to be very interesting and um, empowering. I was really um, trying to see it, who else I can probably wait to see if a few more persons, but I think we are past it, about 11 minutes, so that's quite a long time. So we don't want to stay too long. All right, but I believe that uh, we are in for a wonderful time and um, we want it to be very interactive, so we're going to have that afterwards. But before we start, let us ask the presence of the Lord to be in our midst. Welcome to everyone that is here, uh, those that are on uh, Facebook. Welcome to you too. So happy uh, that you are here. Happy to know and just to know that you're here to see. I think I'm only seeing one pick here, but uh, for the other persons, I know your name and happy to see you. It put an extra smile on my face when I see you take the time out to be with me. All right, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your mercies that has kept us. We thank you, Lord God, that we, are, we can gather in this fashion one more time. And as we are thriving and striving to be and to become a better version of ourselves, we depend on you because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You create us, oh my God, perfect in your ways. In your, oh my God, and we thank you, Lord God, today. Have your way, be in our midst. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. So the one in the mirror. Uh, ah, the one in the mirror. So how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you are. Just to show you something to me.
And I think that is a beautiful way to start. Uh, they said out of the mouth of babes. It's a, a very young man. And he is telling us something very powerful. Okay, so we understand that I ask a question today. Let me see if I can find my question. It says, imagine a mirror that could reveal your personality. Would you dare look? Imagine a mirror that could reveal your personality. Would you dare look? Interesting question, right? So as that young man is saying that the, we, don't, we should never allow the world to tell us what we are and who we are, uh, we wanna look at some things that can affect us or helping us to understand who we really are. Some things that we're looking at are some strengths, weaknesses, insecurities, or view of the world, our perspective, or beliefs and or core values. What are your strengths? Do you know what are your strengths? That is a very important question, something that uh, you, we, we want to know. And how do we know, how do we identify our strengths? It says to discover your strengths, start by deviling into your past through a series of activities. So going back and even in counseling, right? A lot of that is done going back into uh, the past to identify uh, what are some of the things that have um, helped you to, to to develop your strength, your views, your perspective, and all of those things. So go back and do a series of activities. Then you're going to assess to find your traits and qualities that are innate within you. Yes. Once you understand your strength, you can use them to do anything, to get a job, to be you, anything at all that you need to, to do. That is very important and understanding uh, your strength and knowing who you are. All right, our weaknesses. How do we identify our weaknesses? Well, first thing, identify what makes you tick. For some persons, yeah, some persons tick easier than some, but I guess that is why it's called weakness. So identifying what makes you tick. Then, uh, ask yourself, what do I suffer with? What, what am I, what is my greatest struggle? What am I struggling with? All right. Then uh, we can also do a personal research among other peers. Uh, you can ask other persons what they, they think yours. What they think your weakness is, are. Right? And for me, that is one of the things I think I, I like doing it, especially with persons who are very close to me. I like to hear what they, they have to say. I, 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 I use the question, I question my husband a lot to tell me. I remember I was doing a course in college. I think it was some personal development. And um, he was the one who actually helped me to identify a lot of the things that I wanted to know. And that was quite surprising. It was good. So, I, we can um, ask our parents to help us to identify some of the things that are the thing that are weakness that are are our weaknesses. All right, the next thing or insecurities. What are your insecurities? When you look in the mirror, as I mentioned today, that there are some persons when they look in the mirror, they really don't like what they see. Some persons don't like to look in the mirror. Some persons don't like to see themselves. Some persons will tell you, I don't like to hear my voice. Some persons will tell you a whole lot of things. Uh, some persons are really just fearful 
And um, as we said before, going back in your past and identifying these things. Because as we are thriving to be and to become a better version of ourselves, we have to go back in that past, identify some of the things that have caused us and form us and form our, all of these things. So, or insecurities. Some persons struggle with jealousy. And uh, I've heard once that everybody have a little jealousy in them. F for some persons, they may be um, to, from one extreme to the next, while some persons own might be mild. Uh, but some insecurities are jealousies. Um, and and sometimes these things are formed based on how you are socialized. Uh, if persons fear and trust issues and all of these things. So if, to function in life, we want to identify these things. So a lot of persons are still afraid of identifying these things. But I, I want to tell persons, don't be afraid. Uh, identify them, be open-minded, have a growth mindset and willing to be willing to know what are my insecurities, what are, what, what, and, and, and so that I can be a better version of myself. All right, another insecurity that persons might have is pleasing people. Some persons cannot say no, maybe because they feel inferior. They have a feeling of inferiority. They might feel that persons are, are better than them. Um, they were raised to not say anything, not think that they are valuable. So they, 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 they just want to please everybody and um, go out of their way. It's like they don't have a say for themselves. They don't have something that they want to do for themselves. It doesn't matter. And you find out that these things happen as we said, and even for marriage and for relationship, it's two different people coming from two different walks of life. And can you imagine persons coming together uh, with these insecurities and not? I've never looked at them, don't know, they have never been identified. Yeah, and we know we have some wives who will complain that my husband, he cannot say no. He cannot say no, even to displease the wife, they will say yes to the person, and then they prefer to come home and the wife argue with them. So we need, that is why we're doing this and we need persons to, to, to identify what their insecurities are so that we can be a better version of ourselves. The next one is emotional manipulation. My God, we have some persons who are really manipulators. And so most of the times persons are, are fearful. They are fearful, they are struggling with something and sometimes people put the best outside. There are some persons who might uh, socialize and grow up and uh, persons always use them. Persons are, or they see persons use people for them and they say, oh, for me, nobody's going to use me. Nobody will ever use me. So I am going to be the one that use people. And persons sometimes who get hurt, they'll do this too. They'll say, oh, people hurt me. They have been in love and people hurt them. Okay, so nobody's gonna hurt me again. I'm gonna be the one always to make sure that I am the one that is hurting people. So uh, another one is superior attitude. There are some persons who always want people to feel as though they are the boss. They have it all together. What I say goes, and we have that in every setting, church, work, home, everything, because we are dealing with people. And a lot of times, as I said to you before, the aim of Wisdom Wednesday is that we thrive and strive to be and to become a better version of ourselves. And uh, we, I, I believe in the total man. I believe that we are human before everything and um, everything else that we choose. And also that we are made up of body, soul and spirit and all three must be satisfied. So it's not about the jumping and the shouting and all of that, but we want to take uh, some time to really look at us, look at me, look in the mirror. What am I seeing? What am I reflecting? If, if I should look in the mirror, am I, would I, would I, if my, if my mirror, if there's a mirror that I look in and when I look in it, it, re, it reflects my own personality, 
Would I dare look in that mirror? These are some of the questions that we want to ask ourselves. What, 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 what do I portray? What image do I, I give off when people look at me? There are sometimes a lot of us, we represent Christ and we, we say we are Christians, but what do people see when they look at us? Yes, we are not gonna please everybody. We can't please everybody, but we want to. We are selling something and we want to be able to, be, to, to display such. So as I said before, that I believe that we are body, soul, and spirit, and all three must be satisfied. So we want to be able to work on the humanness of us. Because a lot of times people will complain, oh, that person is mean, that person is that, that person is all these things. But guess what? We are humans before everything else. And persons have gone through a whole lot. And um, persons, really, some persons really don't know things happen to them. They become jealous. They don't even know how they get there. Some persons become people pleasers. They don't even know how they reach there. Some persons are Im Im um, emotional manipulators. They don't even know how they get there. Some persons don't even know who they are. They don't have a clue. So they realize that persons will always have them spinning around and doing things and just allowing them to feel uh, like nothing about themselves. Uh, some persons too will be defensive. And we find out that sometimes we have persons who are very defensive in, in terms of their personality. As you say something to them, they are ready for you. And I've learned and understand that a lot of times it is something underlining, something is happening. And I'm gonna show you right now what I mean. The first day that I was in
<laughs> okay, how was that? Not hearing anything. Didn't hear the video. No, nothing. Really? Absolute oh silence. <laughs> I was wondering what was that mean. Oh my God. Miss, good evening, everyone. Mrs. McNeil tried to connect your audio to the computer, the video audio to the computer. I That's why I won't hear it. Done that already. Uh, oh, somebody okay. help me to do it. Uh, okay. How do I do it again? How do I check again? Leslie, how do I check it again? Somebody will help me to do it. But I uh, when it. you go into share, because you are sharing your screen, mm -hmm. when you are sharing the screen, I think there's a part, there's an, two options at the bottom of that before you actually share the screen. There are two options that says to click. You, you would click those two options. I'm, I don't quite remember what it is. One says a uh, multi participant. No. Uh -uh. No, man, when you're ready to share. So before oh. you actually share the screen, click the share oh. button. Oh, right. Right, right. Advance and then um, music right. and, and song. Yeah. Oh. Music and song portion of the screen. All right, let me go again. Ms. Tinsdale, I'm going to, the, the remainder of this session, I'm going to be talking about coming back from praising, okay? <laughs> and I'm talking to you, and I want to say, first of all, to me, crazy is not an insult. Uh, I've been called crazy, don't bother me at all. <laughs> Ms. Tinsdale, I'm going to, the, the remainder of this session, I'm going to be talking about coming back from praising, okay? <laughs> and I'm talking to you, and I want to say, first of all, to me, crazy is not an insult. Uh, I've been called crazy, don't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Lynn Toller's ruling. Next. Divorce court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. People used to be afraid of me. <laughs> Talked to my sister, you know, a few Christmases ago, and and I was asking, why, well, you know, you never used to hang out with me. Because you were mean. <laughs> and in talking about it with my mother, I was mean because I was angry, and I was angry because I was afraid. Mm. So what you have to do is deal with the fear. The fear will take care of the anger, and the anger will take care of the crazy. Mm. The time to decide not to get angry about something is before you get angry about anything. You got to have a game plan in place for how you're going to conduct yourself, how you're going to deal with upset. And you got to know who you are. You got to dissect where you're weak, what's wrong with you. I got a list of, 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 of 20 things I know that are wrong with me. I own it. I love it. I relook at it sometimes just to make sure I'm on top of it. Now, you're fearful, you're angry, and you've been hurt. And you're afraid that if you do not knock somebody out verbally or whatever, that they're going to take you down. Mm -hmm. So that's how you respond. So you got, to, you got to own that every morning. And then you have to say to yourself, self, 
<laughs> today, just today, I'm not going to get angry. Just today. Don't worry about tomorrow. And you have to have, the, you got to let the first wave pass you by. I said, what I'm going to do today, he says it does something I don't like, I'm going to do like this. It's a ridiculous thing to do, but do it anyway. I surrender. <laughs> you surrender, not to him. You surrender to your better self. I surrender. And then you sit down. And you cannot speak until you're not angry anymore. Hmm. You won't be able to do it the first couple of times. Right. But after a while. After a while. And then at the end of the day, you got to debrief your crazy. You got to sit down and it, a piece of paper. Nobody believes in paper no more, but I do. <laughs> Write down is this. My big bugaboo is worry. Mm. I have a list. What I worried about. And then I put a line. Mm. And I said, what really happened? Mm. And when you, it, when you read it at the end of the week, you feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I worried about this all day long, and that happened. And if you keep writing that down, I yelled at this guy about this, that, and the other thing, and it wasn't even important. Mm. You, you see what I'm yeah. saying? You need to work your situation. You need to handle your crazy. You need to handle your fear. And once you handle your, and you work at it, because you can do it. You see what I'm saying? You know, believe in it. Knock that sucker down. You're strong and you're able and you say, anger is the problem. My fear is the problem. I'm not going to live my fear. I'm not going to let what somebody did to me 20 years ago tell me that the rest of my life ain't going to be what I want it to be. I'm a bad chick. I can handle this. <laughs> you want to believe. You with me? Yes. You going to work your anger? Yes. You going to work your fear? Yes. You going to fight your crazy? Yes. Now look here. Now look here. All right. So we see as we look at insecurities. So whatever your insecurities are, uh, we are going to work on them. I think. The mirror reflects, it doesn't define. If your mind and body doesn't get along, then you are your biggest enemy. Someone will tell you you're ugly just to sell you something to make you think you're beautiful. But beauty isn't just a look. Beauty is internal, you internalize it. Beauty is how you carry yourself, your personality, who you are, what you are. You can't go out into the world and ask the world, am I beautiful? You have to tell the world you're beautiful. You can't wait for anybody else's opinions. The mirror reflects, it doesn't define. You define. The icing on the cake doesn't change the inside. It just changes the outer surface. But the outer surface isn't important. The inside is what's most important. Who you are on the inside what you are on the inside, your talent, your potential, how special you are. So anyone in the world can tell you anything to manipulate you or to make you feel less of yourself. But at the end of the day, what you think, how you feel, what you know about yourself is what makes you beautiful. Not people's eyes or thoughts, you. Wow, I hope that had the effect on you like it have on me. So uh, understanding the motives or the motivating factors uh, that influence your behavior um, to have insecurities is, 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 is key, right? Looking at what, what caused those insecurities. And as uh, Judge Lintola mentioned, 
it, 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 it doesn't work. It, it's not worth it to allow something that happened 10 years ago, five years ago, who hurt you, who didn't do right by you, all of those things to, to, to stop you from enjoying and to be a reflection of who God really created you to be, right? And to be afraid to be you, to, to, to look in the mirror and be you, right? So you want to you wanna identify those things and uh, deal with them, cope with them, okay? Uh, some underlining factors may be self-doubt, uh, lack of confidence or assurance um, may influence one's behavior or one's insecurity heavily. Uh, so we want to... We want to evaluate our self-talk. And this is very, very important. Self-talk is very important. And you hear uh, Judge Lintola telling the lady, when you get up every day, you will become what you speak to yourself. You will become what you speak to yourself. You have to speak negatively, positively, the devil is a liar, positively every single day, right? Evaluate your self-talk, what you say to yourself, pour in yourself, look in the mirror and say, hey girl, hey boy, whatever I am. And you, you, you declare the things that you are to yourself. Another way to help uh, with insecurity is to address social situations that may cause anxiety or allow you to feel insecure. Uh, you know, if you are, if when you go in a particular crowd, a particular social setting, you are not comfortable, you don't put yourself in that. A lot of persons will know what they, you have to know what you can't manage. You have to know what you can't deal with. And until you get to that place, then you know you get to that place. But you don't give yourself what you know you can't. If you know you're struggling with anger, you're, you are defensive and you like to persons, you know what make you tick. You try to avoid that. And as that, something that uh, Judge mentioned too, she said every day uh, when, when you are faced with that situation, again, surrender to yourself. Surrender to yourself. And you say, all right, I surrender to myself. I'm not going to allow myself to go to feel jealous or to 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 not know who I am or any of those insecurities. And we said that we can also ask persons ask for feedback from others if you are able to manage it because a lot of persons can't take constructive criticism, no criticism at all, no feedback at all. It's not a good place to be, but you have to know uh, where you are. And if that is one of your insecurity, then you're going to take your time to work on it. Uh, and um, monitor your response to conflict. A lot of times conflict get the better of us as individuals. But we ought to know that it is natural uh, coming together. And, and I think fear too, fear. Because I know persons who, especially males, will say, oh, I, I, I don't get into a quarrel or once it sounds as though your tone is changing or you're expressing yourself, then they will not. Um, they, will, they don't want to be a part of it because some persons may have been traumatized where they were socialized. It has been a, a crazy situation. So every time um, there's a situation where it seems as though it's going to be a conflict or an argument, it just brings back everything. For some people, the defense will come out for some people the anger will come out and you'll hear persons saying oh I can't control my tongue I can't control it every time I get there I don't know I'm losing my temper I'm losing myself right but these are some things that we have to face we have to deal with we have to acknowledge them first and know that okay this is what I I have dealing with this is what I'm struggling with so that we can be a better version of ourselves. We can't sweep anything under the carpet. We can't sweep anything under the rug. We can't turn a blind eye to them anymore. 
if we are thriving to be a, a better version of ourselves, we have to identify and to deal with these things because guess what? And a lot of times we put things under the rug and we know it's not dealt with. And I realize one of the things that cause is um, even anxiety uh, for, for a lot of things happen and you don't deal with it. You don't talk about it. You don't express because some persons, oh, I don't want persons to know or, or you tell yourself, oh, if I don't deal with it, then it would be okay. No. It's there and it's just, it's, it's just growing and growing and growing and piling and piling. And then you realize that then when one major stressor or something happened in your life, you become a wreck. So you have to know what are your weaknesses, what are your insecurities. Uh, and we look at um, last week how we, we receive love and uh, we understand even, even that coming to play right now because that helps to shape our, our viewpoint of the world. For some persons, they might have a superior, a superior uh, attitude and they think that the world revolves around them and everybody, and even um, Mrs. Allen, she dealt with, um, with, with self-esteem and the one that, what's the one again that she pointed out that was shocking to me. And I'm saying, yes, persons think that, oh, people love them and people like to be around them and people this when in truth and in fact, it's just a feeling. It's just all in their head. It's just all in their minds and it's not true. So persons will think that, oh, people, people always love and people this and people that and all these things. And you realize that socialization will help. It does. It helps to form our viewpoint or perspective of the, 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 the world and how we view things, how we view people and all of these things. So even how our perspective is formed, all of our experience in life. If, <laughs> it says experience teaches wisdom, right? If you have been inflated self-esteem, thank you, yes. Uh, we, you have persons will, I was saying that our, our, pers our perspective, all of our experiences, you have been, they say, once bitten, twice shy, and we like to use that a lot. You say, okay, uh, that person, I've always faced that, so it's going to be like that. And then you realize because of the fear and the hurt, we put a big, not even barbed wire fence, but a big iron concrete wall around our heart. And we hold it so firm around it so no one will never hurt us. And then what happens is that sometimes the one who will love us gets blocked out. The one who really cares for us gets the lashing because it's just somebody has to pay for it. So we are thriving to be and to become a better version of ourselves. We are looking at the one in the mirror. Uh, who am I? What do I see? What do I reflect? Am I reflecting what I was created to be? Am I reflecting all that I desire to be? What do I desire to be? Who I want to be? Where do I see myself? How do I view myself? Is my perspective of life affecting how I interact? Is my perspective, do I think that um, I, I, what? I should work hard or I'm not to work hard? All of these things, right? So we want to look at these things and make sure that we are doing what we need to do to make ourselves a better, a better virgin. Uh, we re recognize too that our expectations, our expectations sometimes causes us hurt. And I've, I've, I've experienced this for myself too, that um, you, you, have, you have a certain expectation. And we, even with love, we say, we, we give love how we want to give love, how we want to receive love. So we give love how we want to receive it. And having that expectation, and then when it's not met, it is a dangerous feeling. So when we're working on becoming a better version of ourselves, all those things we want to, to, to work on our perception, our perspective, uh, how much we are willing to forgive. There are some persons who are really take a long time to forgive, are really treacherous. If we're going to be a better version of ourselves, we have to learn to let go. We have to learn to let go. We can't allow those things to hold us back. Also, our reaction. 
of a reaction. How do we react to things when it happens? Or even now, and I, I, I have been, I have been pouring into myself because I really want to be a better version of myself. My reaction to something. So, uh, somebody will say, "Okay, I don't like this," or I might get a thumb, th thumbs down on one of my video. What do I do? I, I have to tell myself just the way how I'm um, accepting the past, the good. I have to, I have to just put my mind on that and accept everything. There are persons who we things like you worry about are uh, things that are going your way. It's all about you have to tell yourself how are you going to react to it when it happens. It's how you react to it. You're going to say, okay, the Lord knows has a plans for my life. And if it doesn't work out, no, it means that it's not the time. It's not the time for it to work out. And this is the mindset and how we have to tell ourselves that we are going to react to things in our life. All right. Anybody want to say anything, any question, anything that we can talk about? Anyone want to share anything? Quiet audience. nobody want to say nothing all right all right so i guess we are at the end of our session and before we go we are going to do our activity let me get my my music
and um, I have literally learned to not think so much, to let go of the past so that I can move forward, to forgive so that I can move forward, to be better and not bitter. Because I have been disappointed a lot because of my expectation, because of giving love the way I want to receive love. All of these things. But, as I said to you before, we have to shut out the negatives. All the things that cause us to be anxious, to feel panic, to worry, and all of these things. And I know life is full of struggles. Life is unpredictable. Even all that is happening, none of us been in this situation right now where we are locked away and stay in our homes some of us our business have stalled or ideas have stalled uh, what we planned for some of us would have just enjoyed our summer vacation and all these things but it didn't work out we have to develop our mind and strengthen our mind because what if something else struck
has time for everything. Thrive and strive to be and to become a better version of.